There's a lot going on underneath any Bible story you'd care to name. More characters, more grime, more intrigue and sex. I'm not supposed to talk about sexy things, though, because I'm a priest, and this is a book about the Bible. We're meant to be serious and wholesome, the Bible and me, and there's no place for sex having, much less sex enjoying in church. But the Bible is R-rated for language, violence, and sexual situations. The Bible reflects back to us what we're going through, what we see daily in the news, what we fear, what we desire. Y'all, the Bible is R-rated because our lives are R-rated. It's transformative precisely because it deals with real, unsanitized existence. In seminary, they told us, all this stuff we're teaching you, you can't tell your congregations. They can't handle it. The God loves you stuff, that's fine. It's the ahistorical stuff, the editing of scripture across generations, the mythic nature of all Genesis and Exodus, God's concern for how we spend our money, and complete silence on homosexuality. That stuff won't fly, they told us. You can't. Oh, I can. And I will.